What's up guys, this is 139. This is a video game review. This review is gonna be for uh, Guitar Hero World Tour on the Wii. Um, this is gonna be a quick one because, you know, Guitar Hero games are pretty much the same fucking game, just with different tracks. Um, this game, it does take it to another level with customization and this is the first game in the Guitar Hero series that allows you to use the drums, the, the mic, and well, you could use a bass before, but the drums and the mic. So that's going to soar it way, way up there, just for those reasons alone, because it's the first one that allows you to do that, right? The first Guitar Hero that allows you to do that. Obviously, Rock Band came out before this game. Um... And, you know, I remember back in the day, it was like Rock Band versus Guitar Hero. It was like Chevy versus Ford, you know, like the, the arch rivalries, Pepsi and Coke, whatever. You insert your thing there. And I was on the Guitar Hero side because I had played, I was a, you know, I played Guitar Hero 3. It was my first Guitar Hero, and I love that game. So I was on the Guitar Hero team, and I remember, actually, it's funny. I remember getting Rock Band for my birthday. I asked for it and everything. And I, we got the whole set, and me and my brother and sister played it in the basement for a couple days, and I remember returning it because I didn't like that the fucking notes were squares compared to the Guitar Hero. They were circles. It's the dumbest fucking reason ever. And I didn't like how the guitar felt. I didn't even break it in at the time. Um, and I didn't like that the circles, or that the square, the notes were squares. So I returned the whole fucking thing. Um, I ended up getting this game at some point anyway, but... Um, just, it's so, like, stupid as a kid, the shit that matters. Like, now I wouldn't, I mean, maybe I guess if it was new and it was hardcore, maybe I would, but, eh, I don't know. Still, it's now reflecting, it just seems ridiculous, but, anyway, Guitar Hero World Tour, they, you know, like I said, introduced that. They also introduced creating your own character, which is really cool, and the character, the character creator is fairly immersive for a, a game that came out, when did this come out, 2008? Something like that, 2007. Let's see if I can see it. Uh, I can't find it here. Yeah, I can't find it, but I want to say 2008. I want to say this came out in like 08. Um, pretty immersive. Um, you know, you could change everything from your hairstyle to your, you know, your pants, your shoes. You put tattoos on your character, your band name, obviously, um, you know, just everything, pretty much. Your guitar, you can customize, you can do that. You couldn't customize it in the old games, you could just pick skins. I believe in this one, you can, like, paint it and shit. I don't remember exactly how it goes, but um, there's much more customization in this game than there was in the, uh, in the prior games, which is great, you know. If Guitar Hero is going to be the same shit, at least they're innovating. You know, they made the band, which is awesome. And that, you know, that carried them along. Um, I mean, Guitar Hero 3 was huge. But if they just came out with Guitar Hero World Tour and it was the same fucking game but with different songs, it probably wouldn't have carried as much as if they brought out the entire band, adding the drums and everything. I mean, I still remember Guitar Hero World Tour being hot back in the day. Of course, Guitar Hero uh, 3 was hot. And Rock Band was hot because it did the same shit. But Guitar Hero continued the, you know, their their dominance, I guess, of the music genre when they introduced the drums and everything, um, alongside with Rock Band. But uh, the so other than that, you know, the the soundtrack, not one of my favorites. It has one of my favorite songs ever. Damn it, by Blink One Eighty Two. I love that song. Um, it's one of my. It's like my top ten songs ever. I I adore that song. Um, but it, you know, the soundtrack is always going to be personal, right? It's going to be a personal preference, uh, especially, you know, with licensed songs, especially. And, and this wasn't one of my favorites, but, you know, it still has some good hits for me. Um, and the graphics are a little better, but barely. I mean, how much can you do? I have it on Wii, so it probably looks much better on the PS3 or the Xbox 360. Having it on Wii really, you know, in the graphics department is really stunning it. But, uh, you know, I've always just thought of Guitar Hero as a Nintendo game because, um, you know, they were the first ones with the motion controls. And I just think of, you know, 
no no chord or anything uh playing the guitar hero with the remote in the fucking thing with that white one that you could put stickers on in guitar hero 3 so it's all it's i know it's an, obviously it's an activision game but it's always been a nintendo a fake nintendo or whatever you want to call it game for me so i i you know as as long as they're available on nintendo consoles i'll buy them on nintendo consoles they just there are to me and you know even you could argue it's more of a playstation property than nintendo because Guitar Hero 1 came out on PlayStation, uh, PlayStation 2, and Guitar Hero 3, or Guitar Hero 2 came out on PlayStation 2, and I think it came out on 360 or something, remastered, and like a package, I, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it came out on 360, but I don't know, just to me, it's always been a Nintendo game, but it's not, you know, it's an Activision game, um, but anyway, you can download songs on that. Well, you could download songs. You can't anymore. You could play people online with it. You know, so this game, it really is. It is a step up now that I'm thinking about it. This is a step up of a game compared to the older series. And it's good. You know, it's, it's stuff it needed to do. Um, the customization is kind of obvious. I mean, you're, you're creating your own band in this game. So creating your own characters within the band is obvious. Um the adding the drums is fucking awesome. Um, I I don't have them now, but I had to, I told you I had World Tour back in the day, and I used to I used to love playing the drums. I was never very good at them because I couldn't get the the pedal down, the foot pedal. I could never get that down, but I was good at the you know the the whole drums. At one point, I remember I just didn't even plug the pedal in, and I would just play without it, and I would like miss every fifth note or whatever. But it was still fun. The singing is fun, you know. Um, this game, I mean, really, Guitar Hero as solid as it is and you add all this stuff i mean you got to give it to it uh, 10 out of 10 i don't really know what else to say about guitar hero um i'm f not remembering what the final song is for this i think this one has hotel california which is a great song i don't remember if that's the final song or not but that's a fucking badass song uh, but anyway yeah great game uh, you know, if you if you haven't played it and you're a fan of Guitar Hero, definitely recommend it. If you're a fan of rhythm games, definitely recommend it. Um, you know, I don't know. Maybe if you have in, in your in your in like your closet or something, or your attic or your basement, you have the drum set from back in the day, and you haven't played it in years, it still holds up. You know, I didn't play the drums, but the guitar. Uh, is, you know, as crisp as anything, as long as you don't play on a fucking HD TV, that's annoying, um, but, uh, yeah, I definitely recommend it, I recommend this and the whole Guitar Hero series, I, I have Guitar Hero 5, which is actually one of the only ones I've never played, I just bought it, so I'll play that at some point, but, um, yeah, Guitar Hero World Tour, 10 out of 10, nothing really to say bad about it, um, it's another Guitar Hero game, but they actually innovated, so, yeah, thanks for watching.